It is officially October 2022 and the field research tasks you can get at Pokestops have changed. Today we're going through the top 20 field research tasks you should be looking out for in October of 2022. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. First thing I do want to say is that we are not going to be talking about Pokemon that are good in PvP. Generally in PvP you want low attack, high defense, high stamina IV sets, specifically for the Great League and the Ultra League. This makes field research tasks not a great way to hunt these Pokemon since the lowest IVs you can get on a research encounter Pokemon is 10, 10, 10. But that brings us into the number 20 spot is going to be evolving Pokemon for an Eevee. Shiner will be on screen, by the way. Eevee evolving into Umbreon as 100% Eevee is a great Ultra League Pokemon, as well as Eevee evolving into Sylveon is great for the Master League and a decent fairy type raid attack. That makes this task the number 20th best to hunt this month. In the number 19 spot, we have Battle in the Go Battle League for an Ariados. Now, Ariados, other than for PvP, is not that good, and we said we're not talking about PvP, but Ariados being a stage two gets you 300 stars per catch. So what you want to do with this task is encounter the Ariados, run from it, put that encounter in your stack task and then during a two times or three times cash stars event you can multiply that stardust tenfold with a star piece etc etc so this is a task you want to find but not actually catch and wait until there's a boosted stars event to actually catch we then have used five nana bears to help catch pokemon can get you either a poochana or a houndor we want to specifically look at the houndor here because houndor evolving into hound doom is a great mega pokemon you want to have a good iv for in the 17 spot we then have catch five pokemon with weather boost for either a poliwag a vulpix a hippotas or a snover again specifically looking into the Snover here, which does evolve into Obama Snow, having the Mega in the game. You definitely want to have a good IV one for this Pokemon. In the 16th spot, we have Spin 5 Pokestops or Gyms for a Ralts encounter. Now, Ralts has a bunch of different evolutions it can make. Of course, Ralts going into Gardevoir is going to be a great fairy type raid attacker, as well as a great preparation for the Mega form of Gardevoir when that does drop. Or if it's a male Ralts, you have the option to evolve it into Glade. Glade is going to be great to prepare for the Mega in the future, as you're going to want a high IV Ralts from Field research for when that drops. We then have power Pokemon seven times for the Hoenn starters, Mudkip, Porchik, and Trico. Starting with Mudkip into Swampert, which is a great water type raid attacker and decent in the Master League, as well as Mega Swampert, a great opportunity to prep for that. We then have Torchic into Blaziken, which is going to be a Mega you're definitely going to want to get ready for, and a decent fire type raid attacker Blaziken is as well right now. And finally, we have Trico into Sceptile, which does have the Mega again. This is a great task to prep for those Megas when they do drop. In the number 14 spot, we have to take a snapshot of your buddy for a Shuppet encounter. This is a new task. This Shuppet, of course, evolves into Banette, and Mega Banette is actually dropping this month on the 20th, so it's great to get a head start on prepping for this Mega through this task. We then have make three great throws in a row for an Onyx encounter. Onyx, of course, is a perma-boosted shiny Pokemon, but of course, Onyx evolving into Steelix. Steelix itself is a great Mega Pokemon you're going to want on your roster, as it does give great Mega Boost for a lot of great Pokemon. We then have catch seven Pokemon for a Magikarp encounter. Magikarp, of course, evolving into Gyarados. Gyarados is great in the Master League and other Master League Cups, like the Premier Cup, as well as Gyarados does have a Mega form. Funny enough, this weekend from 2 to 5 p.m. on the Saturday is Gyarados Ray Day, so it'll be a great opportunity to get Mega Energy in combination with these tasks and get yourself a Mega Gyarados ready to go. Next up, Power Pokemon three times for the Kanto starters. That includes Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle. Starting with Charmander evolving into Charizard. Of course, Charizard can evolve into Mega Charizard X and Mega Charizard Y, and Charizard itself is a decent fire type raid attack. Of course, Squirtle into Blastoise. Blastoise is going to be great in the Mega form. Form. And then finally, Bulbasaur into Venusaur. Venusaur does have the great Mega Form, and Venusaur is not a terrible grass type rate attack. Moving into the top 10 with Catch Three Ghost Types for a Ghastly encounter. This is a new one exclusive to October. Ghastly, of course, evolves into Gengar, which Gengar is a decent ghost type rate attacker, as well as Mega Gengar is the best ghost type rate attacker in the game right now. So definitely going to be great there to get that Pokemon. And that's a perfect segue into our next one trade a Pokemon for a Haunter encounter. Now, Haunter, although cannot be shiny, of course, does evolve into Gengar which we already talked about is great, but also Haunter, like Eridos, is a stage two Pokemon, which means you can go ahead and actually just run from the Haunters, throw them in your stack tasks, wait for boosted Stardust events, and get plenty of Stardust from catching these Haunters on star pieces when the time comes. And the stages just keep going up with the next task, which is make three excellent throws for a Beedrill. Now, since Mega Beedrill is out, this Beedrill can be shiny from tasks, which is crazy. You can literally find a shiny Beedrill in the research. But Beedrill, of course, evolves into Mega Beedrill, which is gonna be a Mega you definitely wanna have, because it's actually a pretty good bug type raid attacker. And poison as well. And also, like the Haunter and Eridos, this one's actually a stage two Pokemon, which means it gets you 500 stars every time you catch it. Saving those Beedrills in your stack tasks, catch them during stars event. It's a top meta strategy. Make sure you do it. We're coming into the end here with hatch two eggs for a Beldum encounter. Now, this is an expensive task to complete as well, but Beldum is a great Pokemon. You have Beldum into Metagross. Metagross is a great steel type ray attacker, as well as does have the mega form in the future. This is like a no-brainer task. You should complete it when you get it. We got a lot of dragons here because we got make three excellence in a row for a Gibble encounter. This is one of the 
hardest task people struggle with, but I will link below a video on how to do this task really easy. There's a little, you know, you could say glitch technique to do it if you struggle with it. But Gable evolving into Garchomp is a great ground type and dragon type ray attacker as well as good in the Master League, as well as does have the Mega in the future. So all around, Gable is a great Pokemon to get if you miss the community. Deck. We then have catch a dragon type Pokemon for a Dratini or a bag on encounter. Honestly, probably one of the best tasks that we consistently see month over month. Of course, Dratini evolves into Dragonite, which right now Dragonite is like the best Pokemon in the Master League to run. And it's also a good Dragon type Ray attacker. Honestly, Dragonite is such a threat right now in PvP. As well as bag on into Salamance, which is a great Dragon type Ray attacker and great for the Mega Salamance that will drop in the future to prepare for that. And that brings us to the top three, which is going to be earn three hearts with your buddy for a Phantom Encounter. Now, Trevenant is a great Great League and Ultra League Pokemon. And I know I said no PvP Pokemon, but funny enough, Trevenant in the Ultra Premier meta, which is no legendaries, no level 50 Pokemon, its best IV set is actually available from Phil Research. 10, 15, 15 is a rank one for a Trevenant in that meta. So you can potentially hunt for these Trevenants through Phil Research. On top of that, Phantom is a very rare Pokemon, doesn't come around a lot. So even if you don't have a good Trevenant for Great League, you can still use a less ideal IV one from the Phil Research task. And this is just not a common Pokemon. Definitely take advantage of it in October because this is probably when Phantom and Trevenants will be most available. That brings us to the number two spot, which is going to be one of the most popular Phil Research tasks and one of the most popular Pokemon from Phil Research tasks. Make five great curveball throws in a row for a Spinda encounter. Now, if you don't know, Spinda is one of those Pokemon that is only available from Field Research, except it has been in raids a couple times, but generally very exclusive to this. There are nine different patterns that Spinda can be, and this month it's going to be on pattern number four. Shiny Spinda specifically is a very rare shiny a lot of people ask for, especially if they're trying to collect all nine patterns. So doing these tasks, hopefully getting these shiny Spindas, and then you could use these to trade for a lot of things because these are very rare. That's the reason the number one best Field Research task to hunt this month, and that is going to be Power Up Pokemon 10 times for 25 Mega Gengar energy. Yes, every single month we have this task, and it's a different Mega, but this month, spooky season, it's going to be Mega Gengar. Mega Gengar is the best ghost type rate attacker in the game and also can be used as a poison type rate attacker. And all in all, it's just a very, very strong Pokemon. It won't be making a return in Mega Raids this month. So this is the only way to get all this Mega Gengar energy. So you can pretty much just be ready for when a ghost type raid boss does drop. Like, you know, the Garatinas are gonna be here soon. That's easily the number one research task. Whenever you do it, power Pokemon 10 times and collect that Mega Gengar energy. Now I'm very surprised we do not have Spiritomb tasks because usually in October we have Spiritomb and Shiny Spiritomb available from field research tasks from like a task like catch 18 darks for ghost type Pokemon, but it does not seem like it. It might be a Halloween exclusive during the Halloween event from the 20th to the 30th, I believe. So hopefully that field research task and that Pokemon does come available there, but that is pretty much it. If you guys want to know the full list of field research tasks, by the way, and what this video is based on, I will link below the Sylph Road. You can go check out that website and they have a full breakdown of all the research teams, even ones I didn't even mention that I don't think are very good, but you can still check it out. That's it though, guys. Have an amazing day. Comment below what research tasks you're going to be hunting and follow for tips. Peace.